When dealing with complicated integrals, such as the integral of 2x times the square root of 3x minus 5 dx, it is sometimes easier to set a quantity in the integrand equal to u and then rewrite the rest of the integral in terms of u before integrating. In this example, it would be best to set 3x minus 5 equal to u. Our goal will be to rewrite the rest of the integral in terms of u. This will result in an easier integral, which we'll then integrate. Since our new integral will be in terms of u, we'll have to rewrite 2x in terms of u, and instead of having the square root of 3x minus 5, we'll have the square root of u, and we'll also have to write dx in terms of u. First, let's consider the x. The x has a coefficient of 2. The x has a coefficient of 2, which will stay there. But then comes the x, and I'm going to write that in terms of u by taking the, x, the equation u equals 3x minus 5 and solving for x. That will involve adding 5 to both sides of the equation and then dividing both sides of the equation by u, or by 3 rather. This means that x equals, in terms of u, x equals u plus 5 over 3. To complete the change of variables, I'll have to rewrite dx in terms of u as well. Again, let's begin with u equals 3x minus 5, but this time let's take the derivative of u with respect to x. The derivative of u, u is 3x minus 5, the derivative of u is simply 3. And if we want to replace dx with something in terms of u, let's solve this equation for dx. That will involve multiplying both sides of the equation by a factor of dx. And we find that du equals 3 times dx. Divide both sides of the equation by 3. And we will find that dx is equal to du over 3. At this point, we've rewritten the original integral, which was in terms of x, to be completely in terms of u. Finding this derivative is much more manageable than the original problem. After rewriting the original problem in terms of u, the integral still looks a little complicated, but it's actually not so bad. I believe it's a little easier to think of this problem as with each factor being written as a fraction, realize that two is the same thing as two over one, and the square root of u, which is the same as u to the one half, is u to the one half over one, and if we multiply, I'm going to multiply all of the denominators together. 1 times 3 times 1 times 3 is 9. And the only constant in the numerators is a 2. The u to the 1 half, I'll write that in front of the quantity of u plus 5 and leave the variable of integration, the du, at the end. Already, the problem is looking much more manageable. Because there is a constant in front, I can move that outside of the integration symbol. I'll only integrate u to the 1 half times the quantity of u plus 5, and the 2 ninths, the constant, will come along for the ride. The next thing I'll do is distribute u to the 1 half through the quantity of u plus 5. Remember, when you distribute, you are multiplying, and when you multiply, you add the exponents. u to the 1 half times u to the first is u to the 3 halves and u to the 1 half times 5 is simply 5u to the 1 half. Now we get to the step where we will actually integrate, and we'll be able to integrate each of the terms in the integrand using the power rule. I'll take 3 halves, the 2 ninths stays in the front unchanged, I'm going to take u to the 3 halves and increase the power by 1, and then divide by that number. That becomes u to the 5 halves over 5 halves. Integrating 5u to the 1 half, the 5, the constant, is unchanged. I'm going to raise the power on the u by 1. 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. And divide by that value as well, 3 halves. Simplifying this, remember, if you divide by a fraction, that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So u to the 5 halves over 5 halves is the same thing as 2 fifths 
times u to the 5 halves. And u to the 3 halves over 3 halves is the same thing as 2 thirds u to the 3 halves. Now 2 thirds times 5 is 10 thirds. After integrating, I'm going to have a few step, steps of simplifying. The first thing I'm going to do is take a common factor out of 2 fifths and 10 thirds, and I want to rewrite this with as few fractions as possible. The next best thing to do to simplify this is to think of these fractions with a common denominator. The common denominator between 5 and 3 is 15. 2 fifths written with 15 in the denominator is 6 fifteenths. Realize 6 fifteenths in lowest terms is 2 fifths. And writing 10 thirds with a denominator of 15 is 50 fifteenths. Again, 50 fifteenths in lowest terms is 10 thirds. This helps in the simplification process because on the next step I can factor a 15th out to the front. The 2 ninths is, is remaining in the front unchanged to this point. I'm factoring out the 15th to the front in the numerators between 6 and 50. The greatest common factor between 6 and 50 is 2. That's factored out to the front. And then between u to the 5 halves and u to the 3 halves, I have the same variable in both terms. So I can factor out u to the lower power. The lower power between 5 halves and 3 halves is u to the 3 halves. And finally, I'll multiply 2 ninths times 2 fifteenths to get 4 over 135, u to the 3 halves times a quantity of 3u plus 25. And of course, anytime we do an indefinite integral, we can't forget about the plus c. Now this is in simplest form in terms of u, but we're not done yet. Our original problem was in terms of x. So we will rewrite our final answer in terms of x as well. Recall that this problem began when we let u equal 3x minus 5. So to finish this problem up and, and find a final answer, we'll substitute all occurrences of u with the expression 3x minus 5. In my simplified version of the integral, there are two occurrences of u. Both of those both of those u's will be replaced with 3x minus 5. I'll have one uh, little step left. I'm going to distribute the 3 and combine like terms. 3 times 3x is 9x. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Negative 15 and 25 have a sum of positive 10. The final answer is 4 over 135 times the quantity of 3x minus 5 to the 3 halves times the quantity of 9x plus 10 plus c. Mm -hmm.